better than expected or not as bad as feared. These are phrases we hear quite often these days when it comes to the descriptions of the economic development around the turnaround of the year 22-23 or in respect to the development of the inflation. Yes, it's true. What we have seen from data out of the US, out of Europe, but also out of China, the end of 22 was not as bad as expected. And also inflation came down. Uh, this was partly due to the fact that we had some one-off uh, reliefs, particularly in Germany and other places in Europe. But we also have seen a substantial fall in energy prices, which helped to bring down inflation at the end of 22. However, the rate we currently see is still way above that what central banks regard as price stability. Now, looking forward, we still see that there are lots of uncertainties regarding the economic development, as the loss of purchasing power and the tightening in financing conditions is still likely to come through and to dampen economic activity. Therefore, we still see a contraction in economic growth, both in the euro area and in the US. Although it is likely to be smaller in the US, and in the year 23 on average, we now see a small increase in GDP by 0.4% year on year. In Europe, however, we still have a contraction. 23 on average, a minus 0.4, and for Germany, a minus 0.9% in respect to the development of GDP growth in this year. Also in terms of inflation, we likely to see that underlying inflation will be stubborn. Therefore, Headline inflation is likely to come down further, but the underlying rates are likely to be above that what central banks desire. In that respect, market expectations of a fast turnaround in monetary policy seems to be overdone. We expect that both the Fed and the ECB will go ahead with further rate hikes. The Fed is almost there, but we still expect 50 basis points to come to a higher end of 5%. The ECB, on their side, are likely to go for an additional 100 basis points to 3% for the deposit rate. And when it comes to rate cuts, market expectation that it might start as early as the mid of this year, we think are way too early. Yes, there is a good chance that the Fed comes down with the rate at the end of 23, but inside of the ECB we have to wait for the end of 24. In that respect, although we might get more positive data from the economic side out of China when the correction of the COVID policy is likely to feed through to some increase in economic activity, the year is likely to be very volatile. So in that respect, we warn for euphoric descriptions of capital markets or the economy. In that view, we see still 2023 of a year of high volatility. And although we had a great start into the new year, there is some blocks and some potholes to come.